Hey everybody, Sean Howey here from Fender Studios. I'm very pleased to introduce you today to the brand new American Ultra Series Jazzmaster. So the Ultra instruments are the highest level of Fender production line. And basically, I think it really does give them a chance to stretch out because these instruments, while they look vintage, uh, actually have a lot of modern enhancements that were designed for the discerning guitar player, whether you play live or in the studio. So before we get into the actual guitar itself, it feels like it might be a good idea to talk about what I'm using to make noise, if that makes sense. So I've got a 68 Custom Deluxe Reverb, got a pile of Fender pedals on the floor. Uh, take it from me, if you haven't had a chance to check out the new Fender line of pedals, you probably should, because they're gonna be short a few when we load out of here today, put it that way. Um, but before we listen to any of the pedal stuff, I'm just gonna play a few sounds of the, of the Jazzmaster so you can hear what it sounds like without much on it. Here's the next pickup. Bridge pickup. favorite the middle. So let's start with the neck. I think one of the things that really does differentiate the ultra line of instruments from any of the vintage inspired guitars that Fender makes is that this neck has been reshaped for modern players. So they're calling the shape a modern D and it's definitely slim and has wider shoulders than a C does. Uh, it feels very comfortable in the hand. Doesn't matter what size your hands are, it's very comfortable to play, which is nice. So the fretboard options are maple or rosewood. This is obviously rosewood. They come with medium jumbo frets and they all come with compound radiuses. So what that means is that down here, uh, you're talking about a 10 inch radius, so it's still fairly curved. So it feels comfortable to play chords and, and comp and things like that. But up here, it's approaching a 14 inch radius, which means it's very flat. And the benefit of that is that when you bend notes, the fretboard radius doesn't get in the way and fret the note out. So 10 down here, 14 up here, if you need access to the high frets and you wanna play a bunch of bends and stuff like that, the guitar is not gonna fight you, which is awesome. Now, on the back, you can see that it has this lovely ultra satin finish. So it's very smooth. Uh, it doesn't have any stickiness to it at all. So if you're one of those people that really hates thick finishes on the back of the neck because you've got jam hands or something like that, uh, this will not be a problem for you. You can see that it has a nice vintage tint to it and also has a lovely skunk stripe. So you know where your thumb is supposed to go. That's always helpful for me. And then also, they come with locking tuners. So all of the ultra instruments that are guitars in the line come with a high ratio locking tuning machines. So for me, that's actually a big deal because I put locking tuners on every guitar I have that I'm gonna use in the studio or on stage because I just really care about the tuning stability. So it's really nice to see that they've added that feature as standard equipment. Now moving on to the body, um, you can tell this guitar is absolutely gorgeous. But besides the good looks, one of the things that really does make this guitar different than traditional Fender instruments is this part here. So all of the guitars and basses in the Ultra line have this wonderful sculpted neck joint. So you can see that it's more slender than our traditional joint would be. So there's easier for your hands to get up to the higher frets and he's got this sort of sculpt out of the lower bout to make that easier. So when you're playing, it's very easy to just get your hand up into the upper frets, which is really, really great. Now, in terms of the finish, this is something called Mocha Burst. It's absolutely beautiful, but they have both solid and transparent finishes available in the line. So the guitars either come in alder or ash, depending on which finish that you've chosen. And the pick guards also change to match. So they've thought a lot about the full aesthetic value of the guitar from the color to the pick guard to everything. 
So moving on to stuff that actually makes noise, meaning pickups and knobs and switches and bridges and that kind of stuff, um, from the outside, this probably looks like a pretty normal jazz master. But like every other instrument in the Ultra series, there is a ton going on under the hood, so to speak. So first of all, these are the newest generation of Fender's noiseless pickups. Uh, they have all that great single coil character without any of the 60 cycle hum. And it is the first time that Fender's ever made a noiseless jazz master pickup couple knobs down there on the bottom, but uh, much like every other guitar in the Ultra Series, there's a hidden switch here on the volume knob. So if I push it down, you can see that it uh, depresses so you can see it, and then it hides itself when it's not depressed. So I love that because you don't have a bunch of little mini dip switches all over the place muddying up the look of the guitar just to try to get some extra functionality, which is nice. So this does series and parallel for the middle pickup selector switches, which I'll show you in a second. But you also have this crazy circuit at the top. So the traditional jazz master circuit was called the rhythm and lead idea. And the, the whole idea behind the circuit was that basically when you flipped it up, it was a blow switch for the neck pickup. So it had a volume and a tone for just the neck pickup and people used it to sound like a jazz guitar because this instrument was originally meant to replace an arch top jazz guitar that couldn't get very loud at loud gigs. That's what it was for but a lot of rock guys didn't really dig it. And so a lot of people didn't use that circuit at all. Well, they've done something really interesting in the Ultra Series with this circuit. It's actually a phase circuit. And these little sliders are volumes for the individual pickups. Now, what makes that neat is that traditionally when you flip stuff out of phase, the relationship between these two pickups never changes. So you get one sound. But because I have the ability to turn these pickups up and down and change the ratio of how much of them I'm hearing, it actually gives me a bunch more tonal options than you would ever hear out of a traditional jazz master, which is really cool. So I'll show you how that works and the S1 and all this stuff. So let's start with just the neck pickup again to remind ourselves what it does. <laughs> Bridge pickup. And then we have these middle guys. Now, middle pickups are one of my favorites. I know that some people don't ever use that position, but I live there. All right, so here's what it sounds like when you switch that S1 guy in and out. So let's listen to the difference between normal and with the phase switch up. So here's normal. It's the greatest honky sound. Just great. Now, when you begin to modify the relationship volume-wise between these two pickups, you also get a bunch more options. So right now, they're the same volume. I just move them slightly. If I do that in the inverse, off. There's a ton of variation in there. So if you're trying to come up with sounds in the studio, um, there's probably a couple hundred sounds in there just from moving those little sliders in the phase mode a tiny little bit. Now, uh, last but not least is the bridge. So much like the, the Telecaster in the Ultra line, these are also chrome-plated brass saddles. So they're there for sustain and for punch. And one of the things I like is actually the, the bridge, which a lot of people never talk about on a Jazz Master. Because of the way that it's actually designed, it doesn't move the strings as far as a Stratocaster might. So when you're actually doing little, little sort of tremolo bends, um, one of the things that really does differentiate a surf kind of a sound 
from a Stratocaster is that you can wiggle the bar a lot more and the pitch doesn't move as much. So you get a lot more of that sort of 60s. Which is absolutely awesome. All right, so now that we've talked about all the stuff that actually makes noise, let's hear what it sounds like when we start incorporating some of these great Fender pedals. modulation. Kick on some distortion, maybe. You can tell that the brand new American Ultra Series Jazzmaster is a rethinking of the original. It keeps a lot of what was great about the vintage instrument and brings all this great new modern enhancements into the experience. So if you have any more questions, please check out all the information on the Ultra Series guitars and basses at Fender.com. And uh, I'm Sean Halley, and I hope I'll see you again. Cheers. Cheers.